Now, we 31 Sports with Max Cohen. It's hard to believe, but just a few months ago, Alabama was playing Michigan in the Rose Bowl. Seemingly everything in college football has changed since their overtime loss to the Wolverines, especially here in Tuscaloosa, with a new coach, coaching staff, and group of players. And today, for the very first time, fans got to see Kalen DeBoer's squad on the field here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Yeah, you know, I think today was probably the day um, where it just really felt, you know, you know, seeing the guys come on the walk um, of champions, just um, just seeing that and feeling the energy and the excitement of what it would be on a Saturday, um, you know, that was a lot of fun. And being in the locker room, uh, just the excitement. Aside from the obvious lack of Nick Saban, this year's A-Day was a bit different than what Tide fans have come to expect from the spring game in the past. It was the offense in white going up against the defense in crimson, and the offense started on a 31-0 run, with Justice Haynes and Jam Miller serving as the stars of the rush game, combining for three touchdowns while Richard Young added one of his own. All three of them are pushing each other to be great, and that's, that's what you want in the team, is have a, a team that's, that has shared success and also have a guy that's trying to, constantly trying to build. Um, so it's going to be special for us to have all three of them because they are all great players and, and they can play really good, so it's going to be special for us this year. But this game would turn into a tale of two halves with the defense making a major statement in the second, but in the end they'd still fall to the offense, 34-28. to 28. You know, that's why I keep playing. So many things that we're going to get to learn from, from this scrimmage, um, you know, depending on what side of the ball you're on. And now with his first spring in Tuscaloosa in the books, the reality has set in for DeBoer that he is not only a long way from Washington, but also a very long way from Sioux Falls, where his college football journey began. 72,000. Um, we're just shy of that uh, there. Um, but, uh, you know, um, the cool thing is football is football. And what you see is uh, at all the places you're at, um, guys that love to get out there. And, um, you know, they're excited about their opportunity to go out and make plays and play the game they love. But um, this was a special day. 72,000 fans were on hand to watch A-Day today, and you can bet that number will be much closer to 100,000 the next time the Tide are in the building when they host Western Kentucky to open the 2024 season on August 31st. Reporting in Tuscaloosa with coverage you can count on, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.